Who isn't a fan of Amazon's best-running show yet, The Boys? The show has die-hard fans globally, and that includes Star Trek legend LeVar Burton, who thinks Jensen Ackles deserves a Saturn Award for his role as Soldier Boy. In today's video, we're taking a look back at the third season and how well it performed this year in terms of nominations. Keep watching to get more juicy details about the show and its cast reactions. First up, The Boys has racked up a handful of nominations. Fan or not, the internet is a buzz with talk of the fourth season of The Boys being filmed in Toronto as we speak. With the 47th Saturn Awards looming up ahead, it's no surprise that they generously gave credit to The Boys where it was due for its wild third season. In addition to Best Streaming Action Adventure Television Series, Anthony Starr was nominated for Best Actor in a Streaming Television Series, and Erin Moriarty was nominated for Best Actress in a Streaming Television Series. Among all of the deserving nominees, Jensen Ackles' nomination for Best Guest Starring Performance in a Streaming television series for his role as Soldier Boy is our personal favorite, and one notable fan caught Jensen's eye. While Jensen doesn't seem like a man to hyperventilate, we're sure his nomination wasn't the only thing that made him gleeful. As exciting as the news must have been, we have a feeling that the knowledge of him being backed by none other than LeVar Burton from Star Trek The Next Generation comes in a close second. Knowing that LeVar Burton snuggles up and watches The Boys on a Sunday night makes us feel better about being in the same cesspool of fans as him. Burton tweeted on Friday that his money is on Ackles to win the nomination. It didn't take long for the Supernatural star to pick up on the news, and we understand his succinct but relatable reaction. Jensen quickly caught word of his fame and took to Twitter to express his shock and surprise. He quote tweeted Burton's tweet saying, my brain has officially exploded. We understand Jensen, we understand. His tweet encapsulated how we all would have felt if LeVar gave us his vote. Next up, an interesting story about Jensen being beating a bunch of stars to land this role. Having hung up Dean Winchester's coat, Jensen found himself in new and foreign territory with his role in The Boys. Given that he's worked with Eric Kripke before, maybe this collaboration was inevitable, and thank God for that. Just as the filming for Supernatural was wrapping up, Jensen called his pal and colleague one day to ask him how his time on The Boys was treating him. He casually mentioned to Eric that he was about to become unemployed, to which Kripke interjected that if Jensen was willing to come work on their show, he'd make it work. Later on, Eric and Jensen got around to discussing how he'd make his audition work past a bunch of A-list movie actors gunning for the role. Jensen had, understandably so, thought that he'd never beat renowned actors, but lo and behold, not only is he a fan favorite, but he can now bump into LeVar and it would be the tricky legend asking for an autograph first. Don't go anywhere because we have a lot more of the boys to discuss. More importantly, will Soldier Boy return in Season 4? Jensen Ackles teased the return of his Soldier Boy in Season 4 of Prime Video's The Boys following his fan-favorite performance in Season 3 of the show. Soldier Boy was unconscious and inside a gas capsule when the audience last saw him. With production on The Boys Season 4 ramping up, Urban recently shared a photo of himself and Jack Quaid preparing to film. Ackles commented on the post implying a return to the show. Pour me a double. I'm on my way, he shared, sending fans into a frenzy. Now, Ackles could just be teasing fans with this. The Season 3 finale of The Boys, on the other hand, left the door open for his fan-favorite character to return. Kripke left him alive for a reason other than the possibility of introducing more supernatural easter eggs. Soldier Boy's ability to burn the V out of soups elevates him to a pivotal role in the Season 4 narrative. If Season 3's showdown in Vought Tower had gone differently, Homelander could have ended up weak and vulnerable instead of May, which would have completely changed The Boys' universe. We're getting excited just thinking of all the new stories Season 4 will bring us, but how soon can we get a glimpse of his inevitable return? In Season 3, Soldier Boy sets his sights on Homelander after taking out his old squad one by one with the help of Butcher, played by Carl Urban and Huey, played by Jack Quay, leading to a climactic battle in Vought Tower in which Soldier Boy is defeated by Maeve and put back on ice. It's also revealed that he is Homelander's biological father near the end of Season 3. And while their family reunion didn't exactly go as planned, blood is thicker than water, even for a sociopath like Homelander. While Ackles is unlikely to appear in the early episodes of Season 4, it appears the boys will not keep his character on ice for long. Soldier Boy's popularity and relevance to the story appear to guarantee that he will be a recurring character. After Ryan fired Stormfront at the end of Season 2, she was brought back in Season 3 after Kripke stated that Aya Cash would not appear. Soldier Boy is not only in good health, but he also shares enemies with Victoria Newman, who is 
was in Butcher and the Boys' sights heading into Season 4. Now, in other news. And now, when will Season 4 be released? Although the directors announced that there will be a Season 4, we don't have a release date yet. However, if we think of the previous seasons, it's safe to speculate that Season 4 will release either in the summer of 2023 or the spring of 2024. A lot of the stars have shared photos with a bunch of cast members, and everyone is intrigued about how far ahead they are with filming. Of course, now with COVID restrictions lifted, we can hope that no problems or undue delays happen. But the real question is where will the boys go with Season 4? We have some ideas based on major revelations in Season 3's finale. First, there's Ryan between Billy the Butcher and Homelander. Ryan, the son of Homelander and Butcher's ex-wife Becca, chooses Homelander over Butcher in the finale. But the boy's fate remains unknown. Or to put it another way, will he be corrupted? Ryan is one of many people who watch in great amusement, with a smile on his face as Homelander murders a Starlight supporter in broad daylight in the previous episode. However, Homelander murdering a Starlight fan in front of his own adoring fans who cheered him on is also said to be a major plotline. Insider spoke with Kripke about the significance of that moment for the upcoming season. He added that he wants to showcase society splitting into two factions, and the apparent desensitization to violence will be a huge talking point. He explained, it's an appetizer of what all these superheroes are going to do to society in season four. And we know which of the old cast is returning along with new additions too. So far, Carl Urban, Anthony Starr, Jack Quaid, Karen Fukuhara, Aaron Moriarty, Chase Crawford, and most likely Cameron Crovetti are all expected to return for the upcoming season. Some other characters are more difficult to guess. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Kripke stated that while Black Noir has died, it may not be the last time we see him. Susan Hayward from Orange is the New Black and Valerie Curry from The Lost Symbol have joined the cast of The Boys Season 4, as reported by IGN.com. The former will perform as Sister Sage, while the latter will perform as Firecracker. Both actors have had great performances in their respective shows and have fans on the edge of their seats to see what they'll bring to an already crazy cast. For those of you who can't wait, a spin-off on the way. It appears that The Boys Cinematic Universe will be expanding. It has been confirmed that a new spin-off for the hit series titled The Boys Presents Varsity is in the works. The new show will be set at Vought International's Godolkin University School of Crime Fighting, America's only superhero school. It will follow a new, young group of superheroes as they begin their super journey and compete for the best contracts. But Kripke confirmed to Deadline that a crossover between the two is highly likely. And that's a wrap, folks. The boys have a way of latching onto our hearts and minds, and we're stoked to see our favorite cast sweep away all nominations and give us an even crazier season. Have we left out any key updates you've caught wind of. Comment below, like, and subscribe to our channels so you can get constant updates.